Welcome to Software to See from Festo. In this video, we show you how to create your first project in Fluid Draw P6 and how to use the drawing frame and fill the title block. We start by creating our new project from scratch. You could also use a template, but we will cover that in a later tutorial. Fluid Draw will open directly the project property window. Could add a new title here. And once we close that window, Fluid Draw will directly create the project and also the first page. Fluid Draw is built up with a certain hierarchy, so you can always access page properties or project properties. And these properties can be inherited from the project. So let's start with one of the major properties of the project. This is the drawing frame. You select a drawing frame and can choose one of the already built-in drawing frames in different sizes or also create your own user-defined drawing frames. That will also be covered in a later tutorial. Let's start with this and we will see we selected that property on project level and it will be automatically inherited by the page. Let's check the page properties. So here as well, we have this drawing frame because it's inherited from the project. And by adding a new page, we will see that that drawing frame will be used for all pages now. The next page directly gets the page number two and I can add any description. Drawing frame will be inherited from the project. So what do we already see in our drawing frame? If we have a closer look at that, we will see we are on page two of two that is generated automatically. We see the project name and we see the page name. If we switch the pages by double clicking here, we are on page two, uh, page one out of two now. And once we change the page name, you will see that this will be displayed directly in the drawing frame. So there you go. What else can we add here? For example, a date or a name. If you move your mouse over these box here, you might see that the boxes are highlighted and they are clickable. So you can add something here, click here, find the target. Now we are on page level for the date. I cannot add anything here because that is inherited from the project. And now I can define if I want to use different dates on different pages or if I want to define the date as a global project property, click on find target and you will see you are redirected to the project properties page now and you can fill in any date you want. Click OK. And now as it is a project property, we will find today's date on all pages. So now I'm on page two, the date is here as well. And if I add a next page, that will of course have that date inside as well. If you like the videos, please subscribe to our channel and keep yourself informed. See you next time.